you gonna say so I can steal it now? Because I, I I haven't thought of anything yet. You'll get the good stuff and delete yeah. the bad stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm deeply honored to have the opportunity to congratulate Senator David Vitter on being a recipient of this year's very distinguished award, the C. Alvin Bertel Award. I can't think of a, a better warrior to receive this uh, prestigious award. Uh, particularly noteworthy are your, um, your, your fight for the word or language uh, in the deepening and maintaining of the river system, which is the backbone of the heartland of America. You have been an advocate for the Mississippi River system, the Port of New Orleans, and the state of Louisiana. You have taken this mantle and carried it for the past 16 years in the Senate. And through his support, the deepening efforts, his willingness to battle with the Corps of Engineers for funding to maintain the channel, efforts to deepen it and to work with Senator Boxer to get bicameral support and those victories in the word of bills for us will never be forgotten. Now David has been a great ally for us here at the World Trade Center uh, and in the local international trade and maritime community. I think David Vitter is most deserving of this award. He's worked hard for better coastal restoration, improved flood protection, and robust economic development. And you have been an advocate, sir, of ports for your entire career as a state representative, a U.S. congressman, and a U.S. senator. And for that, we thank you. Uh, receiving awards is nothing new to David, uh, as he's been honored by the National Waterways Conference, the International Propeller Club, and the American Association of Port Authorities for all of his hard work through the years while serving as a congressman in the Senate, and of course prior to that as a state legislator since 1991. He's a, he's a big champion of imported seafood safety and, and uh, consumer safety and other issues that a lot of us feel passionate about in South Louisiana. David truly understands the importance of job creation and the importance of this port to the entire greater New Orleans area and the state of Louisiana. I could best remember David uh, on our visit post Katrina days when we walked in and the controversy was do we keep the Mr. Go open, the Mississippi River Gulf outlet, or do we close it? And we went in with some heavy armor, some really high powered officials uh, from around this area that wanted to keep it open to navigation. And we got up to his office in Washington and before we even took our seat, he says, I know you're here to ask to keep the Mississippi River Gulf outlet open. The answer is no. So when David makes up his mind and he says something for good or bad, his mind is made up. Uh, he started out through and through and in the end, he was right. Closing the Mississippi River Gulf outlet was a wise thing to do at that time. He's always been available, strong, ardent supporter of the navigation industry, and very honored to see him win this award. He's a well-deserved recipient of this award, and um, we look forward to working with David in, uh, in his next career. So as the gateway of the world into the Mississippi River Valley, we uh, at Plaquemines thank you once again and congratulations. And you have devoted your entire political life to assisting ports from the time you were a state representative and then congressman and now a U.S. Senator. So for all of this, sir, we thank you and we appreciate you. You got enough to, to make it work. <laughs> Am I done? Well, oh, that was painless, man.